dead and underdog moto mini yeah already then cold start 701 cold start already then what are we gonna do today what are we gonna do today it's a little bit windy a little bit windy for some hardcore hooligan shit um thinking about going down to the tracks good old virgin trail and uh, doing a little exploring down there kind of see what we can get into and uh <laughs> test out these tires more this bike needs a washing anyway so if i get down there and get a little dirty it'll be all right underdog don't mind getting a little dirty underdog does not mind getting a little dirty so let's go down and have some fun Oh yeah, it is windy AF. So yeah, going down to the tracks, um, being surrounded by some tree cover, it blocks some of the wind. It's a good day to off-road. Not gonna be a lot of other stuff I could do right now with the high wind is the wheelies are gonna be like affected big time and it's just not gonna be fun to do wheelies in high wind for me. We try a couple on the way down, but I I hate the wind. Let's face it. Let's face it. Underdog is allergic to wind. Woo! Back breakdown. Note the flag, America. Fuck yeah. <laughs> ah, again, this jersey flows air good. This armor jacket, this jersey. Not to mention, it's like a balmy, like mid, mid upper 50s day. Feeling good in the hood, but man, is it windy. Woo! Like I said, a good day to get off road. Stick around. Let's see what we could get into. Maybe a little windy for the drone, but if I find a good spot that don't feel bad, maybe I'll get it up. Let's see what we can do. Woo, Jesus. Yeah, it is windy though. Woo -wee. I was pointing at the grass. I was like, <laughs> like, dude, you're mowing in the in the in the road, dude. Okay, but anyway, whatever. Keep your eye out for obstacles. Avoid the grass in the road. Not that big of a deal to me, but man, motorcyclists do hate that overall. Like I said, I pay attention. Doesn't bother me that much. Man, feels good to be out on the bike. <laughs> Last night, my wife's going to be here, but she's playing her game. I'm going to be out here enjoying myself for a little bit. Hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel, Underdog Moto Mania. We're almost there. Yeah, we're halfway there. Woo! All right. Maybe I'll run into some other guys off-roading. We'll see. We'll see. All right, let's kill you. And let's power you off. There we go. Alright, so we down here. We down here already. Let's pick my line, get some steady throttle. Oh man, we 
get some growth down here? Look at this. Looking a little different. Woo! <laughs> a little more confident, huh? A little more confident. Yeah, we got all kinds of growth down here. It's been raining. <laughs> Oh man, can we hit that? That's kind of nice. A little burn. A little Chris Berman. But let's see what we got down here. Woo! <laughs> Down here is where our whoops are. So let's hit the whoops. See what we got first gear though. I don't have a lot of confidence in this. Cause these are pretty, some of them are actually pretty deep. Woo, <laughs> that one. Okay. <laughs> I tried to get a little traction in the back and lift the front a little bit, didn't really work out. So I've never gone too far down this way. I'm going to see if I could actually go down the next set. I guess third gear is okay. Not like I'm going to flat out pin it, but we can kind of cruise in third. Have some room to up or down throttle. More weight on my feet than on my seat even though I'm not standing I got a lot of pressure on my feet <clears throat> Woo. Honestly, since I let a little air out of these tires, I feel like my uh, my tires grip better in this surface. Obviously, a little lower air pressure, more traction, feels better too. Like there's a lot of little like, well not so little like big chunky gravel spots and. Uh, Having a little air out of the tire like gives a little more squish to the ride and the suspension. Feels good. Feels good. And I'm protected from the wind down here mostly. So man. It's nice. <laughs> I wouldn't want it to be too smooth. So going the left way down the track, let's see how far we can go. I know they always make it look like this one up here is is like a no-go spot, but we'll, uh, we'll carefully come up here and carefully consider the options. Well, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. People obviously come down here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go over that though. Oh, 
approach it. Almost some real off-roading down here. <laughs> A little little tree fall. Oh, I wasn't in first. I was in second. Whoa! Hi. Hi. Like, what's the prosecution for trespassing? Ooh. Ooh, hi. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. A big deer. Don't run into me, buddy. We're, we're all friends here. <laughs> Big white tailed deer. deer. <laughs> see, we'll, see if I can get by with my trespassing and get off this road. It's a whole nother, it's a whole nother spot. <laughs> wow. Might be like a whole network of shit down here. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Looks like there's a way around. Okay. Let's see. There we go. No problem. No problem. I saw the I saw the stop and I was kind of hoping it'd be another road. Welcome to the Virgin Trail. No trespassing edition. <laughs> Where no one's breaking the law here. Nothing to see here. And I'm just casually moseying down here, so I'm not really hurting anything. Now, if it goes down to... Okay, now what's this say? Okay. Okay. Churchville Park, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm not going to pass that sign. This is no authorized vehicles only. Okay, I know the spot. I know the spot. <laughs> Okay, well, kind of want to get my my asshole back down to the to the spot. Um, probably that way. We'll see. We'll see if I can find my way back by touchy feely. We'll feel my way back, maybe. So I feel that way. I 
I do like that turn. <laughs> kind of curious. Oh shit. I might have caught something in my back tire. Time to go back home. Wanna make sure I get I get there fast. up a nail or something? Okay, I might be able to drive on it. Okay, so I got more or less a flat tire. I'm just gonna try to truck it home and try to put some air in the tire and see if I can keep riding. 
Actually, at this speed, it feels okay. But I don't know if I picked up a nail. I was trying to spin it around and see. I didn't see anything. Just, we're gonna mose, we're gonna mosey at home and try to get air in it and see if it'll hold. So trespassing karma? Question mark. The worst part about driving on a on a basically flat rear tire is it really don't like to be leaned over when it's flat it seems to ride much more stable with the bike upright um, I've never had a flat I contemplated uh, calling my wife but I'm wasn't that far from home so I like tested it out to see if I can limp it home and uh, I'm making it right now Trying to get a little more weight on the front and obviously just try not to over accelerate and rip <laughs> although it's a meaty off-road tire probably not going to rip it off the rim but hey it's an adventure i'm going to go home uh, spin the wheel better and uh see if i got see if i got a uh, a nail in the tire And it's so windy, kind of adding to the fun. Let's go, guys. Open just my valve stems a little messed up. I remember when I tried to take a little air out of my front tire, uh, the valve stem was just like gasping air, just like, like as soon as I tucked the freaking cap off, the air was just like gushing out. So, Hopefully it's just like a loose valve stem. I can kind of tighten that up, get some air in, maybe go back out. But we'll see. Probably not doing any favors to the bike by riding on a flat, but what you gonna do? I don't want to inconvenience my wife. <laughs> oh man. Really want to explore and have fun, man. The bike just takes a dump on me. My first day of vacation. I'm gonna have to get this tire fixed. Okay, so we're almost home. Let's see what my tire looks like when I get there. Oh, you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Ah, who knows? Who knows if I'll have to bring my tire somewhere to get it fixed. I'm not, I'm good with getting a rear tire off the rim. But I'm not very good. I don't have the right tools to get it back on. Otherwise, I'll take it out and 
patch my tube, I'd be on with life, but like I said, I, I do not have that, that capability. Or tools, mainly. I probably got the capability. It looks like... Oh man, look at that. I mean, probably the only reason why I was able to ride at home is that this is a meaty off-road tire with very thick sidewalls. But I think there's like no air in that. Ay ay ay. Anyway, let's get the let's get the lift and see what I can see. Snake bitten, I swear. I hate my life so much. Why? Is this under everything? Chair's fine. You could fucking live there. Don't know why I need my lift fucking <sighs> shit. Get it? Boom. Okay. Anything that make you flat? Well this what a, oh, that's a fucking nail. Oh, shit. Yeah, that. That's a fucking nail. Oh, fuck my life. I thought it was a rock before. Ah, shit, you motherfucking bitch. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Yeah. Fucking got a nail. Ah. How to ruin, how to ruin a perfectly good day of riding. Son of a fucking whore. Yeah. <laughs> so, <sighs> these aren't tubeless. So that wheel's gonna have to come off. Son of a bitch. And there's really nothing to see down there, so I really fucked myself. Oh boy. Oh well, you. Don't hurt anyone else. Okay. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. How to ride home on a flat tire. Fucking nail. Shouldn't have went past that sign. Alright, until next time guys, I'm gonna get this bike in the garage and get the and get the rear wheel off. Hopefully I can find somewhere that will fix it. Anyway, until next time guys. Peace. Sad.